This is an update on the 6809 computer that I've been building. Um, it's been a few months since the last video, but I've uh, accomplished quite a bit. The, uh, the most noticeable addition that you'll see here is the, uh, the compact flash card slot. This is a breakout board that I got from SparkFun, and it uh, interfaces just directly to the, uh, to the parallel bus of the microprocessor. And we have the system connected to the DC power supply like before. And then we have our 5 volt serial connection, uh, which runs over here to my terminal scope board, which is a, uh, an AVR based terminal emulator that connects to a PS2 keyboard and an XY display like this guy here. Um, same setup as the last video, except now I have a piece of blue acrylic uh, in place of the Graticule. So no grid lines in the way, and the, uh, the text is a very cool uh, blue-green aqua color that's really awesome. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's power this thing on, turn on the power supply, and we will turn on the processor. And if we... Uh, Take a look over here on the screen. We'll see that it's powered up. It says no card. Uh, the first thing the system does when it's turned on is it looks in the slot to see if there's a compact, fla uh, tch, compact flash card there. Uh, in this case, there isn't, but I have a 128 megabyte card with me with some, uh, some programs on it. And I'm just gonna uh, pop that in right there. And I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to type the command KM, and that's going to mount the card, and you can see it's found it. It's a 128 megabyte card. The volume name is no name. And these three offset numbers that you see here are um, the various uh, sector locations of um, various FAT16 things, like the start of the, uh, the root directory table, the um, start of the... Uh, the data region, things like that, very technical stuff. Implementing uh, FAT16 file system driver is not that fun, but uh, it works. I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. So let me uh, just put the camera down and we will run some software. All right, so here we are in the monitor. If I type KL, we get a list of the files on the card. Now, the um, the directories are indicated with a D, the hidden files are indicated with an asterisk. Now the three files with EX9 extensions are executables. They're just um, blobs of machine code that get loaded uh, into a fixed address in memory. And I can use the command kg to run one of them. So if I type kg hello, it will run hello.ex9 and it will print a nice message, and I can press key to quit. Now, if you'll see there, um, I have a few programs on this uh, on this card. Um, got a couple games on here. Um, Master is um, an implementation of the game Mastermind that I've written, and it's pretty cool. But what I really want to show you is um, a full uh, full implementation of Blackjack. Um, multiple players, you know, splitting, doubling down, it's all in there, um, written um, all by me. And so if I type KG Jack, we'll get that started. All right, 6809 Blackjack, standard rules, um, played with four decks, and even though I'm only one person, for the sake of the demo, we'll play with two and my name is Matt, and I'll be playing with other guy. Names are okay. Um, I want to keep this short, so we'll both start with fifty dollars, and we are ready to go. Now, all of the uh, the cursor positioning and stuff is done with ANSI escape codes that are interpreted by the terminal scope board. You could also take this thing and connect it to a PC with a USB to serial cable, and you could run this program just fine um, in screen or 
you know, Hyper Terminal or one of those uh, emulators. So let's see, it's my turn. I'll bet ten dollars. Other guy is gonna up his bet to twenty, and I have thirteen against a dealer's eight. Um, I'm not a very good blackjack player, but I will hit, and I have twenty-one. That's awesome. I'm gonna stand. Other guy is sixteen. He's going to stand as well, and I win. He loses. Awesome. Now I have $60 with a $10 bet up, and let's see, I'll bet 30, he'll bet another 20. I have blackjack. All right, that's awesome. Now, other guy, he has 20 against a 10, he's gonna stand, and he wins too. All right, let's see, 10, let's go 50. Other guy, he's gonna put in all of his money. And I have 13. Oh, dealer has an ace. Do I want to take insurance? No, I don't. Dealer does not have blackjack. Other guy could not possibly post the insurance bet, so it doesn't prompt him. Um, so any key. I have 13 against an 11, soft 11. Um, I should hit. And I have 21 again. Man, I'm lucky today. Alright. And he will stand as well. Oh, I push. And other guy loses. So he is out of the game. And let's see. I want to wrap this up soon. So let's go to uh, 50. Yeah, let's put it all in. 100 out of my 105. He's out of money, so he gets taken out of the game. I have 20. Well, I'm about to get very rich, hopefully. I'll stand. Yes. <laughs> so much for ending this video quickly. All right, now. Maximum bet is 200 in the game, so let's bet all of it. And just to, uh, to wrap this up, I'll be stupid and hit. And wow. Okay, <laughs> all right, I still have 20 because of that ace, and I'll hit again, and now I'm out. So I bust, I can't make the minimum bet, so I'm out, and there are no players in, return to menu, yes, and quit. Now we're back at the monitor. So that's 6809 Blackjack, um, all written by myself in assembly language, 4K executable, you know, all of the uh, all the software and ROM I've written myself, all the hardware I've built myself, and um, be sure to uh, to check back in the future because there will be plenty of cool stuff coming um, when I get around to it. Hopefully, I'll probably take a break from this 6809 stuff for a while, but you know, video, sound, internet, it's all planned. So. Um, Thanks for watching.